Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nika and I'm back with another video. In this video, if you well, I'm pretty sure you've seen the title. I'm going to be talking about all of this and my journey thus far. So if you've been following me for a while or, you know, maybe if you're new to my channel, if you, you know, look at my videos from like a while back, you'll see that I was relaxed and a lot of my videos, um, show my relaxed hair, me stretching my relaxers, doing protein treatments and things like that. So you pretty much got the chance to see me grow from relaxed hair to transitioning to full on me returning back to my natural roots. I big chopped my hair um, in March of 2014. Now that wasn't really planned. I loved my relaxers. Relaxers, that was all I knew. I've been getting relaxed, well, in the past, that's all I remember. I don't remember ever really having natural hair. I got my, my hair relaxed when I was pretty young. So relaxers were my life. And I would stretch my relaxers about four months or so. Every four months, that I had with my new growth, I was in my head. I was like, ooh, do you, do you feel this little, these little spirals, this, this curl, this kink? And I don't know, I just started falling in love with it. I had crochet braids in March at that time. I had crochet braids and I remember coming home from work at around like 10.30 and I was like, Ma, you gotta take out my hair. And I didn't think about big chopping or anything. I was just like, I need my hair out. I can't really get to my curls <laughs> with this crochet hair in so she took my hair out yeah she took my hair out and after she took it out and you know I just have like the cornrows I'm like I think I want a big chop she was like what you want a what at that time she was natural my aunt was natural my sister was natural and I was the only one with a relaxer no no pressure they weren't you know trying to get me to hop on the bandwagon they were just like well when you're ready come on over to the kinky side so yeah so that night she took out my hair we went to CVS at about like 11 after 11 got some shears came back and the rest was history so yeah I end up um big chopping in July I don't know if I said that I know I said my last relax it was March but I end up big chopping in July so about four months later so i had four months of new growth so after i did that i colored my hair the same day with shea moisture i think it's bright auburn it's like a red burgundy color i just wanted some like mm. i know some people when they big chop since since it's such a big change you're like go big or go home and that's that was my mentality so i colored it the same day and i loved it i would i couldn't hell I didn't even have that much hair but I couldn't keep my hands out of my hair if you know what I mean so yeah I colored it July and then a couple months later in October of that same year 2014 I colored my hair with cream of nature I want to say it's golden blonde or something like that which is you can kind I mean I just trimmed my hair a few months ago it's very light up here i colored it you know i, I want to say it, it was bleach yeah <laughs> i think so because it was like a lifter or whatever it was a box dye and i was just i was ready to color my hair you know you see all these beautiful color you know colored naturals on instagram and stuff and you're like mm, that could be me so i went to the store got a box and that night i cried it was so bright, so light. I remember going into my mom's room and I'm like, she, her lights were, you know, the lights were off and she was sleeping and I turned it on and I was like, I didn't say anything. I just turned it on and I looked at her and she was like, 
what did you do? I lost it, y'all. Like, she she could have been there for me. Like, she could have lied. You know, she said she said enough with the what did you do kind of thing. So it grew out, got darker. I loved it. Now, would I ever color my hair again? No. Why? I I had I had fun with the color. I'm not gonna lie. I had fun with the color. But I love my virgin black hair. Like I love it. And, and then later on throughout the color when it was like growing out, my ends, it was very dry. And I was taking care of my hair. It wasn't like every time I touched it, my hair was breaking. It was just I would feel like my my virgin black hair it was it, it was soft and then i'd run my hair down to the blonde and i was just like mm, you gotta go you gotta go so no i don't think i'll ever dye my hair again with trimming the first time i trimmed my hair was january of 2016. <laughs> yeah imagine big chopping in july 2014 and then doing your first first trim in January of 2016 I won't be doing that again I should have done it sooner that was my first trim my second trim was a few months ago in October of 2016 I did that trim myself which is why I pretty much have almost no color on my hair which my next trim this will definitely be gone and I'll be super 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 happy protective style i was a slave to protective styles i had crochet braids in crochet braids after crochet braids after crochet braids after crochet braids and then i recently stopped when i when i um trimmed my hair myself october a few months ago i that was the last time i had crochet braids and then i started doing protective styling with my own hair so like mini twists flat twist that would stay in for about two three weeks at a time wash my hair do another mini twist style so I wasn't really wearing my hair out and I love my hair I was just like I need to protect my hair I need to protect my hair I need to protect my hair and I just wasn't having any fun at all until recent maybe like three weeks ago I'm like what am I doing like I need to wear my hair like next thing you know I'll let my hair drop off and you know so I'm like nah we gotta have fun I ain't get all this for nothing you know so yeah I'm gonna be wearing my hair out um, I haven't done a puff in such a long time like what are my goals just to continue doing what I'm doing continue washing my hair deep conditioning um, paying attention to my ends and just have healthy and long hair I want my hair out to here like who don't you know I'll, I'll be happy I'm even happy with this length you know I'm, I'm happy that you guys are you know following me on my journey and I hope you guys continue to you know root for me because I'm rooting for y'all too <laughs> so just go ahead and you know drop a comment in the box let me know how your journey has been going you know any setbacks you know what's what made you go natural are you thinking about going natural are you transitioning are you are you relaxed let me know just go ahead let's let's have a conversation go ahead and give this video a thumbs up um subscribe and all that good stuff and yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye